Last time, on SV Full Send, we take our busted up dinghy and resell it to Sailors Exchange in St. Aug, check out the Jacksonville Boat Show, and build a collapsible table for our salon. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put on our name or part of it because we ended up losing the send. So we're probably gonna have to go back and get that rebuilt, uh, reprinted out, but. Clean it off the side. Wash it with some deck wash. That's where full is gonna go. We're gonna have send over here whenever we get it. And then the bottom is gonna have Spring Grove, Illinois. You gotta dry it off too. Well, it's supposed first. to go on a little wet, right? Yeah, so this here. having issues with the nav lights and trying to diagnose for a couple days now uh, so the issue is it was just really dim and we thought it was just the light bulb so we got a brand new one yeah right here nice LED so what we did is like you said we went to the actual up top on, on the deck and spliced the wire there that ran to the nav lights did it super dim so then we came back here we, we uh, found which one it was we spliced that and this is the result so pretty bright so instead of having to replace all like 35 40 feet of wiring we only have to probably do about from here to the to the locker which is probably only about like five six feet it's going to save us a lot of time and a lot of effort so lucked out on this one trying to mess with stuff and it was it's really crazy back here let me show you all this wiring, just not really sure what it is. I had to follow it back. We ended up finding this gray guy came back, kind of the light brown one you see there. Anyways, goes into this coupling, this terminal or whatever you call it, um, and just didn't know where anything was at. So we ended up getting a power supply from Leslie, and that way we can power it up and test each piece of it at each length. The nav light sat up there originally, and it comes down through the through the uh, stuff here. Comes to this connector. We tried clean those; those weren't working. We tested power supply from here all the way back up, bright light, and then tested from here back to where Alan's at. Yeah. So what and we it really was dim. yeah what we really need to figure out is how the wires that were covered got compromised in the first place, so that this doesn't happen again. So when we're fixing this, we're going to take that into account, maybe double, double coated or something. This is a uh, 5200, so we're going to have to cut that open, replace the wire, splice it back into that. So it should be good. Uh, finally going to buy our outboard uh, engine. The credit card came in for the LLC, so we will put that on credit. And uh, we're heading to uh, Advanced Marine, which we saw at the boat show. and. They gave, they gave us a deal for $1,600 for an 8 horsepower Tahatsu or Tahatsu. Tahatsu, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna get that called in. It's they said that oh yeah we, we talked to you at the boat show for $1,600. It's originally priced $1,725 through them, but we've seen it online and at other dealers for anywhere from like $2,000 to you know $2,300. So we're getting a really good deal. So excited to get that, and then we're gonna order 
our new dinghy from California. So hopefully that'll be here in what, like three, three to five business days. Like yeah. So then once we get that, hop back in the water. fit too yeah depending it's meant for mercury but you know how they label like yeah. will fit on everything yeah look at these old guys pretty cool guys this is probably crazy something we can set up that's cool yeah. we got it yes sir right here she's a beauty now we just gotta keep her that way yeah <laughs> gotta make sure we service her and clean her up Got 10 hour break-in period. Got a fuel can with it. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Patricio. Patricio, man, dude. This goes out to you, man. You uh, yeah. you helped us out a lot with yeah. uh, some extra yeah. cheese for this. So, much appreciated. Made, made, made it, uh, I don't know, amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and Patricio. we are naming her. We are naming her yeah. Guadalajara, like you Guadalajara. asked. Guadalajara. That's what she's going to be called. Guadalajara, the new, the new engine. <laughs> Alright, so Leslie's Jeep got rustled through and a couple of neighbors got their stuff uh, broken into the other weekend. So we're starting the, the Ortega Farms Boulevard neighborhood watch. We're going to go train with some weapons. Going out to Osceola or Ocala, what is it? Not Ocala, Osceola. Osceola National Forest. They got a range out there where you can shoot for free. So we like to do things on the cheap, but we like to be Americans at the same time. I think those kind of go hand in hand. So yeah, it's going to be a good day. Oh. Oh, yeah. America! Oh yeah! Stopping to get some ammo. Full metal jacket. Full send, full metal jacket. Or 762 with the AK. Shot some other stuff too, it's great. Uh no, go the other direction. Some of the dirt roads. Hopefully, we get a little muddy.
windshield got us! <laughs> Maybe we should put the windshield back up. <laughs> Woo! This is the end result of that last one. <laughs> so maybe, cool. maybe a windshield? Yeah. <laughs> my mouth. Maybe that windshield we should have. <laughs> Don't get that in your mouth. Uh, too late for that. Jeez. Is that all waterproof? We need to take showers out of here. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and help support us on Patreon. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it.